Hey guys and girls, here's your agent and Eric, and today I'm going to continue. Tell me why. Guys and girls, um, yeah, let's continue. Okay, syncing data, that's good. Let's. What is this? I'm all. I always have this stupid shit. What the hell? What kind of DLC? <sighs> okay. Continue. Okay, we have to kick on the uh, electricity again. We've got Sam here who leads us here. Is this here? So, um, how's yeah. school? I graduated already. <laughs> oh, outdoor studies, huh? Well, it's a good thing I came along when I did. You know, I built this here barn for your mama. Uh. What happened to the fuse box? Oh, I forgot to put it back together after I fixed one of the fuses that kept snapping. Turns out a circuit was a little worse for the wear. I started mm. back on the spot, just the way your mama would have wanted. Made her happy when things could be fixed instead of thrown out. Anyways, let me find that darn key. Uh... Wait. Wait, Sam. You have more of our keys? Yeah. The one for the barn's called a railroad key. See, it's got this huh? special tip that you can... Fascinating. I'll take that off your hands now. Well, I, uh... Figured I might still need to do some maintenance, so, uh... Nope. We're good. Thank you. Uh, fair warning. Door's a bit temperamental. Haven't you been taking care of this place? You didn't oil the doors? What? You think I just hang out here all day or something? Here, son. Give me a <laughs> Okay, when you twist it as far as you can to the left, give it a nice little jerk. There we go. No oh, shit. That door is open, more or less. <laughs> There's the fuse box. Oh, at least the door. All right, fuses go into plugs. Should be easy enough. Um, we've got free. Yeah. Pass me that handle. Yeah, sure. Thank you. Oh, shit. Oh. What happened? You okay? Uh, yeah, just, uh, <laughs> just a bum knee. I uh, wrecked it playing ball. Ball? Football? In college? High school. I mm. school pull back around. Well, until, <laughs> until I got hurt. Yeah, that's rough. Thirty, twenty, twenty. No, wait. Um. 
Come again, okay, 20. 20. Let's try this one. And 15. must be the latch. Yeah. No shit. It's covered in rust. Eh, nothing a little salt and lime can. Hmm? Seems good. Perfect. Everything okay? You, uh, you two look like you got this all in hand, so, um. Hmm? What is it? Sam? You're right? Oh. What was that about? I wonder why Sam got so upset. Oh, he probably forgot he was all out of bourbon. Mm. Well, something about it really got to him. I don't think any of us are exactly happy to see him go. Uh, remind me to take it down later. Preto rep. What's that? Wolf pee. Ew, what? Yeah. Not spill it on you. Ew, ew, ew. I sense a story. Well, if by story you mean using it at fireweed to get rid of some rats, and then spilling it on my only pair of shoes, then yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it was not funny. Sure thing, B-boy. Hey there, little boy. <laughs> Are you cooing at a spider? It had better be a tiny one. Don't listen to the mean lady. You're an eight-legged beauty. What are we gonna do with this wreck? Take it apart and sell the scrap. Hmm. Be my guest, but it sure looks like a pile of junk to me. Where you see junk, I see dollars. Oh, yeah. <laughs> put together the sweetest toolbox ever. Uh-huh. Okay, X mine here. Huh, look at this. I think this is where she made all her toys. Toilet paper tubes, rope, cardboard. I wonder what she planned to make with that. Maybe a car? Ooh, oh, or a, a tank. <laughs> a Allison, tank. do you know who this is? She was so crafty. And she could draw and write and take pictures. She could have been an artist instead of just locking herself up out here. Yeah. Mm. Mm-hmm. Hey, mm. check this out. Mm -hmm. What did you find? Do you know who that is? Uh, yeah. That's Carol, Eddie's mom. I've seen other pictures of her, but never this one. Man, look at Brown. And Marianne. She looks really happy. Can I? Careful, the glass is Ow. broken. Ow. Are you okay? It stings. Let's go see mom. 
But you'll get mad. You weren't even supposed to be here. She said not to disturb her and Eddie. Where are you going? Things were different when she was around. We were family, Eddie. How could you do this to me? Shh. Look. I had to make that call. What were they talking about? I can't figure out what's going on. I don't know, but... I remember that whatever Eddie had to do, whatever that call was about, it was tearing him up. Tearing him up? He was being a total cop, and Marianne got pissed and threw him out. Here, I'm gonna show you what I remember. There, by the house. Hmm? to make that call i was just following the law oh yeah and this little visit right here what would the law say about this huh look i didn't have to come out here but i did you're a goddamn hypocrite get out of here oh she has thrown eddie Marianne. out <sighs> i said get out out so what she didn't throw the picture at him. You sure about that? He was being a complete dick. How can you be sure? We were eavesdropping. We could barely see a thing. What do you think happened then? Mm -hmm. Look. I had to make that call. I was following procedure. What I'm legally required to do. Then why are you here? Pretty sure this isn't procedure. Oh, yeah. I wanted you to hear it from me. Please leave. Mary Ann. I'm sorry. Why did you just go? Hmm. How do we keep remembering the same thing so differently? It was a long time ago, and well, memory is a tricky thing. Wait, when did that happen? I, I'm not sure. I, I think it was the exact same day she attacked you. That's what I thought. But Uncle Eddie said he hadn't seen Marianne for weeks. Yeah, that was bullshit. And what was all that about following the law? What was he doing here exactly? I don't know. I have no idea. We shouldn't mm. jump to any conclusions. Look, I know he took care of you, but that doesn't make him incapable of lying. I can't see him being that cold with Marianne, even if he was being a cop. I mean, I can, but who knows? I guess memory's a tricky thing, huh? So, we agree. Brown came out here and bullied Marianne the same day she attacked us. And then lied about it. Now what? We go and get a straight answer from him. Right now? Yes. Mm -hmm. I'll go get my car keys. But what will these mountains of trash do without us? Fuck the trash. 
Okay. That was overly specific. Fuck the trash then. Okay. Man, <clears throat> I can't believe Brown lied. I mean, I may not be the guy's biggest fan, but he's always talking about the truth and the law and shit. Do you have to be so happy about it? What? I know you've been waiting for something like this. Something that proves Eddie's an asshole. But gloating about it is really not cool. Two. It's Tina. I'll take this. Yeah, J just a sec. I'm parking the car. Hmm? Guess I'll just go stretch my legs then. No, just give me a sec. Okay, Tina, what's going on? Hi, hon. I've got someone who is super interested in seeing the house. Oh, mm? that's amazing. Uh, when? They're just in the area for a couple of days, so they'd like to come by day after tomorrow. Oh, uh, I'm not sure it'll be ready. Mm. Hun, this guy is very motivated, but I know he's looking at other properties. It's not like you've had people breaking down the door. I appreciate that, but we've kind of got a lot going on over here. Did I mention it would be an all-cash offer? It's, it's not the right time. A cash offer, Allison? I'm sorry, but it'll be a total mess. I don't want to waste anyone's time. Okay, well, you tell me when you're ready. Huh, well, I think I just made Tina's shit list. <laughs> There's a ballot board. Interesting. Whose votes are you looking to win out here, Tom? The Bears? Tom, vote Tom Veggie for mayor. For you, a trusted neighbor, successful business owner, loving family man. <laughs> D and Idiot. I did that trail a couple years ago. We drank ice cold beers when we reached the summit. <laughs> Black Creek Trail, everyday shuttles to Trailhead from Dallas Crossing. Departs at 8 a.m. in front of Community Theater, June to September. Hmm. So Looks like you found a nice spot We've been here before, right? So, Tina? Tina West, our realtor Oh, that Tina <laughs> What'd she need? She had someone who wanted to see the house, but he could only come by day after tomorrow. And you told her no? Yeah. We need more time than that to get things cleaned up and, you know. Thanks. Well, what if it's the only call we get? And I guess we just scrolled and lose our minds in that fucking house. <laughs> Sounds like a plan. So, before Tina called, we were talking? Yeah. I'm not happy your foster father fucked up. Oh yeah? Because you sure sounded like he it. He hid information about Marianne. I know! You just don't have to rub it in. I get it. You're always gonna side with him over me. Come on, that's not fair. Then why do you keep doing it? This town, these people, they're just memories to you. But it's my home, Tyler. My friends, my family. And as much as I want answers, I'd rather not lay waste to my entire life to get them. I didn't come here to ruin your life, Allison. I just want some answers. I know. That's why we're doing all this, right? Hmm. Hmm. Her 
hometown looks pretty picturesque from here, doesn't it? You're way more attached to this place than you let on. Mm. Come on, Tyler, help me out here. Why do you shut people out like this? You're literally talking inside my head. Not sure how I could shut you out even if I tried. You know what I mean, Ty. Is he sulking right now? Bruh. What can hey, I do right now? You feeling this? Found you! North Star! Okay, now you're the star and I'm the compass. Okay. And don't cheat. I know you were sending me fake hints last time. I did not. Yes, you did. Okay, okay, I won't do it again. You were always accusing me of cheating. Because you totally <laughs> did. No. <laughs> it was a cool game. Guessing where you were just by feeling what you felt. Mm. No one else could play it with us. That was the beauty of it. For real? You never wanted any other friends? Nah, not really. I mean, we had each other. That was enough for me. So, not too disappointed I turned down our chance to be billionaires? Nah, all that money would have made me soft. Ooh. I've spent way too many years polishing my edgy side. <laughs> yeah, true that. You were right to call me out earlier. I was being a jerk about Eddie. Mm. I'm all for <clears throat> enjoying the wins as they come, but maybe not at the expense of my father figure. I'll try my best. Mm. Well... What should I say? It's nice. Hey, look what I found. Oh, hey. Aha. Holly and Ellison. I knew it was still here. I knew we'd been here before. He claimed it as part of the Ronin Kingdom. And it still is. All it needs is a little update. What are you doing? Uh, what I wanted to do back then, but I didn't have the guts. There. Looking better already. You're right. Way better. <laughs> Sweet. T A. Tyler and Allison. Sweet. Love it. Achievement unlocked. Abro corrected the old graffiti on graffiti on the tree. Oh, cute. So, what's the plan? Hmm. We go inside and calmly ask Eddie why he was there that day. All right. Let's try to let him get his side of the story out, okay? Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. I understand, Mr. Barrow. I'll be sure to let him know. Yes, I have it all written down. Have a good day, Mr. Barrow. 
Morning, Missy. How do you get stuck working reception? Rose called in sick this morning. I'm covering for her while I try to get my paperwork done. What are you doing here? Just checking in with Uncle Eddie. I'm guessing from the identical features that this is Tyler? Tyler, Denise, Denise, Tyler. Wilson, could you tell Officer Vincenzi that I'll be... Oh, good morning, Allison. Hi, Uncle. I'm gonna take Dr. Torres' statement. No need for Vincenzi to come back to the station. He doesn't seem like he's in the best of moods. Yeah, I don't know what's going on, but he's been a little off all day. Good luck. Great. He has an excuse to brush us off. I'm sure he'll make time if we say it's important. Oh, hello, kids. Hello, middle-aged adult. Morning, Chief Brown. Good morning, Tyler. Hey, could we talk to you in private? It's a little urgent. Can you excuse me for a second, Dr. Torres? What's going on, you two? We had a few more questions about our mother. Look, now's not the best time. Well, maybe we can come back later then? Excuse me. Mm -hmm. Come on. Guys, I'm understaffed today. I've got a receptionist out sick, an officer dealing with personal issues. I need to finish taking this woman's statement and I don't have time to chat right now. We were just hoping for some answers. Well, I don't know what more you think I'm going to say. I already told you everything. Hmm, I need to get back to this so... complaint. Sorry, guys. Hmm. What an ass. Oh, I hate when he's stubborn like that. So what now? <laughs> of course. It's important. Um... Where were we? Well, he's obviously not going to give us the truth. So I say we go get it ourselves. Where do you think they'd stash her file? I don't know. The archive room? Maybe Eddie's office? Wait, you're not seriously thinking of breaking and entering a police archive. Go big or go home. Dr. Torres, you said your daughter was with you during the incident? Yes, she was. I'll need her information too then. Can you give me her name and date of birth? Yes, her father's. My ex-husband. Does she live with you most of the time? No, her father is a private detective. Where is the archive? Huh? Let's go upstairs, Tyler. two up to over there everything all right uh yeah everything's fine we're just uh i was just telling tyler where the upstairs bathroom is tyler help me out here oh uh yeah toilet emergency lake water you know mother nature's juice cleanse there's a bathroom just past the break room behind you first door on your right forget it tyler there's no way we're getting upstairs out in the open like this it's too suspicious there must be another way Maybe we can check out that map of the building near reception. Oh my god. Why didn't I think of that? Lobby. Now. Alright. Let's see. There. Fire exit. It opens up to a staircase on the side of the building. But it'll definitely be locked from the inside. If one of us were to create a diversion, the other could slip upstairs and open the door. And since you're the troublemaker, I nominate you as the one to make a scene. Wait, really? Got a better idea? Mm. Not really. No. Right. Let's go. But how do I do that? How do I do that? 
Uh, step away from the station immediately, leaving. We will be holding him. Uh -huh -huh -huh. Okay. Fire drill, huh? Then it's the fire drill, then. Let's go. Guess I probably can trip the circuit breaker, but I could turn the lights off. Just go. Improvise. Oops. Tyler. All right. I'm in position. What now? Turn right when you exit the station and follow the side of the building. The staircase will be right there. You head now? Mm. Yeah, I need to smoke. You should think about quitting. Only gets harder the longer you do it. Yeah, I know. While you're at it, get your sister to stop too. Is this the archive? Seems like good. The police chief of Delos Crossing hosts charity events? Huh? Oh, yeah. The community social. He volunteered to help. Since he pretty much knows everyone, and more importantly, he's called the cops on who, he's in charge of the seating chart. If Eddie catches us in here... There's no turning back now. Looks like this is where Brown keeps all his personal mail. You applied to a summer drama program back in 2009? I did, but they rejected me. Michael and I were supposed to go together. He went, but I was stuck here for the summer with no one but Justin Bieber for company. Why? Well, uh, this looks like he's working with the Office of Child Services on the case. None of our business. Why is Brown on a first-name basis with the director of Fireweed? Oh. What'd you find? It's an invoice. Eddie Brown, you'll find and close the final invoice for resident Tyler Ronan. The Fireweed administration would like to thank you for all of the support you've given us over the years. I knew I had pulled some strings to send you there, but... That's a lot of money. More backdoors and secret moves. Maybe he didn't want to... William Emerson. Well, now I feel like I'm in his debt. Uh, you're not not in his debt at all. Stupid. Brown really wants everyone to know what a fine, upstanding citizen he is, doesn't he? He's a genuinely good person. Me saying that here makes me feel even worse. Chief Edward Brown, okay. Amore. Uh, 
How old is Brown? 38. Oh, wow. Graduated mm -hmm. very young. Youngest officer to ever join the GCPD. No. Huh? Brown really wants everyone to know what a fine, upstanding citizen he is, doesn't he? He's a genuinely good person. Him saying that here makes me feel even worse. Hmm. What to The do? police chief of Delos Crossing host chief. Let's put the Vecchies next to... Can you not? Can you not? Well, why not? It would make fun to see how they sit. Ki ki ki. You finding anything? No. Weird. I can't believe I'm gonna say this, but maybe there's something in Eddie's office. Yeah, very funny. But what? I can't find anything, though. Looks like this is where Brown keeps all his personal mail. We've already had this one. Get it, wait, 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 there's or oh. there is something. Huh. Hey you. New collectible. Examine. Huh. Dallas Police Force is getting a new officer. Finally. This guy has a record. And not a short one. Why is he even in the running? Eddie has a really hard time hiring people out here. Don't I don't merge. Think he has a choice. <coughs> There's always a choice. Miss Dem Demianar, guilty, six months bureau of prison, one year supervised release. Flight to avoid prosecution, prosecution giving testimony. Northern District of Fairbanks, guilty. Drug par paraphernalia process use. Northern District of Fairbanks, Miss Demenier, plea guilt, plea guilty, respect, sent, and post. Weird. And what's this? Don't emerge. Mm -hmm. Assisted in training support. Brown looked at our file this morning. Wait, what? And, and been digitized what does that yet, mean? So you can find I don't, I don't know. But there's a reference number. The R six eight six five three. Six eight six five three. One of his emails mentioned the archives. That's gotta be where our file is. Six eight six five three. Six eight six five three. Please tell me you know what the code is. To the highly confidential police archive? Then how am I supposed to open the door? I've spent hours playing next to this room. I'd see people go inside all the time. The keypad does this little tune. Dum da dee do. Seriously? Go on, try. Um. Ah, 
Looks like they're finally going digital. Oh, that's right. I remember Eddie complaining about this. They're gonna have to resort everything. Great. They've digitized their closed files, but only the ones before 1990. Meaning? Meaning our file is still somewhere in those boxes. Perfect. A room of scattered case files and a half-done sorting system. Yep. This is gonna be so fun for you. I'm gonna go keep a lookout. What? Why do I have to be the one stuck with box duty? Because if anyone sees me, I'll have a better excuse for being there. Reach out if you need anything. R six eight six five three. R six look it up. Six, she says. Okay. Five, three. R six eight six five three. one either. Where's the damn box? Well... Huh. What was that reference number again? 05 R68 653 No, that's not it. No, that's not it. Well, you know, it'd go a lot faster if you were here to help. Well, it'd go a lot slower if we got caught. So, nope. Here we go. Great. Uh, Looks like a step-by-step -step record of the investigation. Mm -hmm. Notified by my partner, Officer Christian Holt of Accident at 12 Canary Road, Dallas Crossing. White female identified as Marianne Ronan, blah blah blah, falling over deck at a lake, audio recorded tape, uh, in brown. Hold on and I arrive at the scene, briefed by patrol officer Jay Chan, officer innocent in brown, located witnesses, minor's name redacted, Ronan and minor's name redacted, Ronan, um, children of Marianne Ronan couldn't get a statement from them as they were under dire stress and shock. The children were taken under care of police officer Jay Chen Brown. Well, so far, 
sure I'm not seeing anything we didn't know already. It does reference some other files and audio recordings, though. You might be able to look those up on the computer. Even if our file hasn't been digitized yet, they may already have it in the appendix. Mm-hmm. Twenty-four hour homicide report victim information crime summary M A Ronan personal information and rap sheet Sixty one eight eighty nine. Zero five R sixty one. There. Homicide, Caucasian, driver license, blah, blah, blah. foreign language spoken none. Um, Child with a gun, child stepped her with a, with a pair of scissors. Victim subsequently fell into a lake. I found a summary of everything. Wow, this is a real detective novel. Brown's quite the wordsmith. He's not a um, writer, Tyler. Mm hmm. Good, my sister, according to witness, and I'm done with it. I'm going to reach at the end of my third gun. I fled the garage towards the lake, calling her. Still armed, but perfect. State your emergency. Got something. Okay. I need to check it here. Bingo. Uh, already seen that. Got something. Hmm. References. Dello's Crossing Police Department. <laughs> Hello. Okay. Sentencing code order. Don't hang up. Eddie Brown. Already seen. Bingo. Okay. I need to 
check out 2005-201-546. Not this one either. Okay, here it is. one of the complaints. Shit. It's from Tessa. She said Marianne was shoplifting and that she had us shoplifting too. I remember going in to get things for her, but she said she'd already paid for them. Tessa also accused her of child neglect. What the hell? Is there any more to that? Shit. Shit, shit, shit. Eddie's coming up the stairs. What do I do? What do I do? Stole him. No shit, Sherlock. Say I went for a smoke. seen this one. References 05 R68 MISC. No, that's not it. Is that here? Officer Eddie Brown. Hello, Officer Brown. This is Simone Prue from the Office of Child Services. Hello, Mrs. Prue. I'm calling about the Ronin family. Uh, I just wanted to let you know that we will be moving forward with the case. Uh, I see. Is there anyone additional we should interview while we're in the area? Yeah, um, Samuel Kansky is a close friend of the family. Uh-huh. K-A-N-S... K-Y. Great. Your caseworker, Sandy Black, will be arriving on March 5th. She'll drop by the station first thing in the morning. Mrs. Prue, how worried should we be? Mm, I really can't say until I have a full picture of the situation. Of course. Well, have a good afternoon, Mrs. Prue. You too, sir. I just listened to Brown chatting with OCX. He really did it. He reported her. What if he was just a go-between? He might not have had a choice. We need to keep digging. Okay, I need to check out 2014 201 496. one either. Uh, where's the damn box? Are you finding anything? Uh, 
helpful at all. Is zero five zero one C O N E B R. Okay, here it is. Jesus, unbelievable. Allie, Tessa called fucking social services on us, and Eddie went along with it. What? Where are you? What's going on? gonna repeat myself you're a goddamn hypocrite I said move it H hey <laughs> get off me rather spend the night here come on I said don't fucking touch me go on and consider yourselves lucky your family huh you want to talk about family Eddie I guess family calls social services when you're having a hard time, huh? And then breaks the law to gloat that you're gonna lose your fucking kids. It's your fault she lost it, Eddie. You and Tessa and everyone else in this goddamn town. Okay. Let's talk. The winter before your mother's death was hard. Devil's Crossing was snowed in for months. Most Sorry guys and girls. Sorry guys and girls that you couldn't hear me. Or could you? I don't know. Uh, I said so. You don't say smart pants, I said. So. Mm. Go on. Tell us the whole truth. Especially Marianne. Yeah. She and struggling. Yeah. That I don't laugh. She was always just scraping by. And that winter left nothing to scrape up. Even if locals had found time to help her. Uh, um, I'm not sure your mother would have accepted. Mm. You're saying Tessa reported her mother because she was having supply issues? Tessa came to me because she was honestly concerned. Hmm. Right. I was legally required to report Tessa's complaint, even if I didn't agree. So you took her word for it and called child services. Failure to provide adequate food, lack of appropriate supervision, hmm. inattention to a child's psychological care, like it or not, she had a case. What? True. It's bullshit. Huh? What? 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 what Just what, what, following the law, then. Right. Is that why you came home <sighs> that day before she died? You felt shitty, didn't you? That's why you broke procedure. 
Ooh. I had to warn her that it was happening and that it wasn't looking good. Oy. An assessment worker had been assigned and started doing background checks. What else was I supposed to do? I thought always telling each other the truth was our number one rule. Still is, little moose. And yet you still lied. Mm. I didn't want you two putting yourselves through unnecessary hurt. But you're adults and that was your choice to make. I'm truly sorry. Thank you, Uncle. Hmm. Just like that, huh? Just like that, huh? Must be nice to have a daughter who lets you off the hook that easy. Eddie, you keep trying to point your finger at Tessa, but... You have to take responsibility for your part in our mother's death. I've asked myself over and over for the past 10 years what I could have done different. Mm. I know I made a big mistake with you two here, but you've got every right to be angry. Being a father, well, it's a pretty tough job. I've tried yeah. my best. And I'd like to try my best with you too, Tyler, if you want it. But... Mm. Can I choose? Mm. Yeah. I'm open to getting there. But it's gonna take some time before we're a big, happy family. I respect that. It's hard work rebuilding trust. You've got a place here whenever you need it. Mm. Group hug? Uh, no. <laughs> yeah, absolutely not. <laughs> <laughs> oh, freak. Okay. Let's get out of here. Allison. What? You feel like shit. How can you tell? Because mm. I feel like shit. What are we going to do about Tessa? Nothing. Look, we're not going to do anything. That's enough, Tyler. Talk to Tessa. Why? What are you looking for? What are you expecting her to say? I thought she loved us. Really? Chief Brown, is it true? Is she? Oh, my God. Ch children, I... Tessa. Tessa, you need to leave. Come on, kids. Everything is going to be all right, okay? You're going to be okay, I promise. Go home. You can't oh, go home. oh, shit. Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> <sighs> What a heartbreaking story. Cold case. Where is everybody? Tess has got to be around somewhere. I think I'm hearing something. Well, at least we know the entire world didn't vanish. <laughs> yeah. True that. But given who is here, we can't count out the rapture quite yet. I need to take a breather. 
I'm gonna do a bit of shopping. You look for Tessa, okay? On it. Okay, guys and girls. We're returning to the main menu. And with that, I say, see you in the next part of the video. Whatever you call it, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment down below, 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 comment down